Welcome to the third iGEM Academy video. I'm going to be talking about restriction enzymes and how we use them in molecular biology. So here I've drawn kind of a typical plasmid, uh, except that I've annotated this little green segment here. And I've zoomed in on it to show you the actual base pairing that occurs. Uh, this site here is our restriction enzyme site. And the peculiar thing about all restriction enzyme sites is that they are the same forward on one strand as they are backward on the other. So this GAATTC is the same GAATTC on the bottom. This particular site is actually for the enzyme called ECOR1. Uh, ECOR1 will always cut whenever it finds this particular sequence of DNA. Uh, so you can, if you, if you look at that on the plasmid, if you were to expose this to ECOR1, it makes a double-stranded break like that, and therefore allows this, the previously circular plasmid to then be extended out as a linear piece of DNA. And you might imagine that ECOR1 cuts kind of just like straight down the center like that, but it doesn't. It does something cool. It cuts like this. And this allows us to play with it. Um, so, so this part here, I'm going to draw green over here, right? And this part here, I'm going to draw green over here. And just so this doesn't get confusing, I've drawn it out down here. So this segment here corresponds to what's going on here. And this segment here corresponds to what's going on here. So you can imagine that if we had another plasmid, let's say a completely different plasmid, uh, that, uh, so maybe we'll take this one off as green, or sorry, blue, and uh, we'll take this one off as pink, right? And this guy also happens to have uh, a restriction enzyme site, which is ecor one So we also break that one in half, and this guy is also made to be linear. So this guy is the blue one, and this guy down here is the pink one. Thanks in pink. And it also has its restriction sites, right? So you can imagine that uh, this guy is identical to this side, and so is this one. This one is also identical to this side. And this guy is identical here, and this guy is also identical here. What's cool now is that although it is possible technically for, for this guy to just kind of fold right back on itself because you know, the A's from here and the T's from here are perfectly aligned to just kind of like match right back up with themselves. What, what is cool that we can make happen sometimes is this guy to actually match up with this guy. And this guy to match up with this guy. Kind of like that. And so we'll, we'll have formed a new plasmid. And so you can imagine that, uh, that these two plasmids just kind of pop open each other and then their ends match together and they form this kind of like new, bigger plasmid, right? Half of which is each of the original plasmids, right? So then you have those uh, ECOR sites that have matched up on either on either half. And great, look at that. We've got a recombinant plasmid, which is a combination of two old ones. So you can imagine that maybe this was the blue one and this was the pink one. So that's the basics for uh, restriction enzyme sites. Uh, maybe I'll stop there and we'll continue with double digests and how iGEM likes to organize their uh, enzymes in particular in the next video.